Okay, I'm going to do a video on my burned house. There's a pile of stuff where we was cleaning it out, thinking we were going to fix this house. But and that's, I think, the first painting my mom done. It's still in here. But I've just been digging stuff out and throwing it everywhere. Everything's molding. So it looks a little junkier than it was <laughs> normally. Uh, you can see all that soot and stuff on the floor. There's my new wash and dryer. Uh, I've been putting some dishes and stuff on this table that I want to keep. This room still don't look too bad. There is the glass doors that broke. That's a hole right there. And then you can see the, the cracks. And then you can tell where things were sitting on that heater. And there's that door. There's my living room. Uh, I just brought those screen doors in here and set them down. There's my big mirror and my sofa I hadn't had too long. TV stand and the TV melted. The, the pump on the fish tank melted into the water. Fireman said to, if I could find some water, fish were still floating on their side. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> but there's all that. There's where my ceiling fan was. Uh. My little fancy sconces. Uh, that goes into the small bedroom. Let's see. That's the wall behind the sofa. We'll go here. That's those clothes hangers I made. There's the door to the hall closet. Look at all that stuff. Okay, and then the bathroom. There's that chandelier I made. It's pretty rough in here. Yep. <laughs> Everything just kind of fell in there. And the... The tub wall melted and folded down. You can see where it's melted there. In there. Alright. And this was what I was turning into my craft room. You know, I'd used the den for a while. And I was making this my craft room. There's that cabinet me and my son made. Right there. My grandmother's cedar chest. My grandmother's, I don't know what you call it. You hang clothes in it or something. But it burned to the hallway right there. Oh, goodness. Okay. There was a wall here. That's a bed in my little bedroom. And this is the bookshelves where I kept a lot of the family heirlooms. So... And there's the whole wall. There's the ceiling. And the, the fire started, I think, right in here. They said it was a wire in the ceiling. So, wow, I didn't know how dusty it was in here. You can see it. And we had cleaned this room. The fireman had to break that window and throw things out because that's where I kept all my fabric stuff. It was like a junk room. I had three junk rooms pretty much uh that's when we thought we were gonna fix this house we scraped and cleaned this room that's my son's nursery furniture he's like 30 something now i had it all those years that's those shelves bed frame that wall burned away 
That goes into the living room there, up at, up at the top. And I'll tell you one blessing. You see this closet. That's the blanket I brought my son home in from the hospital when he was born. But there's a little plastic container up here. I almost didn't look in it. But it had his uh some of his baby things and the clothes he wore home from the hospital. So I did have that. That was a shock, but it was all okay. Alright, see there's that craft room with grandma's cedar chest. And I dumped all the drawers out on the bed in case the clothes got wet and the floor because I was digging through. Because uh, I didn't want the furniture to totally run. Uh, so now I can paint it without worrying about Mama turning over in the grave. <laughs> Be mad at me. <laughs> but uh, if I can get that smell out, I don't know. You can see how charred it got. That's the one they got when they were pregnant with me. And this is an old poured glass pitcher Mama had I was saving to sell. Oh well. Uh, my great aunt's vanity. Everything I've been digging through and the clothes kind of just melted together. Uh, and all this plastic up on the ceiling just it dripped everywhere. See, you can see some dripped here. Oh, that's where something got wet. Family quilts. Uh, I ain't gonna show you that bathroom we used to for storage. <laughs> but these walls, if you notice the paint job, I did not do that paint job. It's just something I hadn't changed in all these years. Oh, look at that light bulb. Melted. But yeah. So I woke up and a few things wasn't coming on, lamp and stuff. So I went in here. You know, I'm getting ready to go to my store. I go to that fuse box behind that cabinet right there. And I flipped switch. And then I heard the oh look that stuff on the ceiling all melty. But then I heard that electrical sound, and it didn't flip back off on its own. Uh, that's some of my grandmother, my dead grandmother stuff in that bag. <laughs> but, uh, so I got my little sick kitty cat, and my dentures. <laughs> Y'all probably seen my denture video. And my pocketbook, I guess, I don't know. Went out. But, yeah, there's my bamboo floors that we worried about scratching. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, boy, it messes up the, the rooms that, you know, didn't have fire. And they said it probably helped that I had so many doors. I don't know why I have so many doors. I just like doors. But these were closed at the time. You can see where the heat or something was <clears throat> going past them and that smoke gets in everything I don't know if the camera that I use to do videos is ruined or not oh I didn't do this room this is the one you know I was using for craft room and I was just going to use it for den and it's piled up with some of my things and some little nicer things on those shelves so, and there's my little cart to do my crafts on. My great aunt's desk. Mama's sewing machine. Yep. Oh, let me see if I can show you all the pictures I had in here before it quits recording. I don't know how long this will record. This craft room again. Uh, 
all these beautiful pictures that got wet and smoky. I might could paint the frames with something that'll take care of. That's that cabinet that was grandma's. Armor, I don't know what you call it. But yeah. There's the fuse box. Hmm. <coughs> so. And, uh, I'll show you before I opened the store, I had started, uh, I mean, I spent a lot of money and a lot of work painting the outside of this house. to do putty on the rotten siding but I got about where that pole is <laughs> but it was a lot of work for me anyway but so much for that but anyway a new chapter a new little nasty house <laughs> that hopefully I won't clutter up too bad <laughs> Oh, and you remember my video where I made these corners? This was a plain frame mirror. That one's still intact. Might could be painted, but uh, the one behind the fish tank. The mirror broke, and then the paint came right off. But anyway, and there's my cabinet from Wayfair. I forget how much it was. My new fish tank. But... Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, I've been in here just digging, trying to get what I want out. So I made it a little messier than it was, but y'all know me. I have my junk rooms. It's messy anyway. <coughs> but now it's a disaster. <laughs> Okay, let's go out here. Yeah, there's a ton of bags of stuff. And there's the ceiling fan out of one of the rooms and burnt box spring. I had to take my pool down. It was running anyway to get that mobile home in. But anywho, I will talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.